Hey folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Once again, using the little selfie remote from uh, Empow off the Empow selfie stick and the Zedio tripod, of course, and all kinds of other stuff that I normally use. We're using the internal mic. We're shooting this at 1080p, 16.9 ratio. 30 frames a second. So, this is being shot on the uh, Umadigi Power 5150, or as I call it, the Van Halen 5150. So, uh, today I'm going to go over one or two things. Um, of course, I'll edit it on this phone. And I don't think I'm gonna run out of storage anytime soon. I currently only have 200, and, I don't know, 60 gigabytes left. Yeah, because this one will actually allow you to format a drive as internal storage. So, with it, in, all that being said, let's do the uh, intro. I'll be right back. All right, folks, so here we are back. I'm still working on the game review on this thing. You know, that'll be a very long-term, thorough review of it. Uh, whether, But right now, I've had this phone for five days. And I've only used the 18-watt uh, charger once. Yeah, folks, worst thing you can do to your phone is to put them on one of those damn things. You get one of these Millican tags, you stuff it into your case underneath if it'll fit. Make sure you got a case with bumpers and stuff. And uh, when you're not using it, throw it on there. I threw it on there. Last night when I woke up this morning, we were at 95%. It's pretty damn good, I'd say. Uh, Still selling the uh, Huawei P30 Lite over on Swappa. If you're interested, good price on it. At least it's going to work out to $30 cheaper than you could get it from Amazon. And of course, I might even knock another five off of it for you. But don't try to chew me. I had a guy trying to chew me down over there. I've only really got 150 bucks. I was like, what part in the description where it says don't even attempt to lowball me? And then I click on his name in the comment. And he sold like 18 phones in the last month. This guy is a scammer. You always got to know who you're dealing with. Only 150 bucks, my ass. You just want to view me down and lowball me. All right, so back to the uh, Omidigi Power uh, 5150, the Van Halen 5150. I've had it for five days. Is it? Uh, this is my first impression. This is a really good phone, folks. It's really good. Battery life is just unreal. The screen looks good. It's sharp. It's clear. No, it's not AMOLED. No, it's IPS. You'll get over that in a little while. I mean, one day you wake up and go, oh, I really don't need AMOLED. No, you don't. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool if it was, but it's not. So. It's a, what they call, in-cell display, which is a fancy thing for saying they crush the display layer, the touch layer, and everything together. And that's where 
your IPS is. And so in plan switching. And nothing wrong with the IPS displays. They work, they have worked for years. Um, so after five days of use, I'm gonna have to say this one gets a huge thumbs up at this point. There'll be a longer term review and there'll be that game review and I might visit it once or twice, but probably not for a while. I'll just keep using it, shooting my videos on it, and editing them on it. And uh, if I got a video worth shooting, I can't walk around much. I wish I could get outside and walk and do some videos. You know, my little neighborhood here, we don't even have uh, sidewalks, so we gotta walk down the street and take your chances and hope some jackass. This is Kentucky, after all. None of them can stay between the lines, and then they get way over close to the edge, and you're like, am I invisible? Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. This one is definitely worth every penny you pay for it. It's dirt cheap at $139.99. I would go out and buy it right now, if for no other reason than the fact you're gonna get a rock solid phone with a rear fingerprint reader that works about 100 out of 100 times. And you know what? You can add more fingerprints until you blew in the face. And, well, not that, but well, you can max it's five or something. At least they tell you, Samsung, not a clue. You can only put three fingerprints on the Samsung A51. Three. And then, you know, it'll go, oh, well, let me check your fingerprint. Yeah, I just checked it. How many times it comes up says fingerprint three? Not a word within the operating system. I just ran across it somewhere else. Somebody said Verizon was selling them on. And uh, there's a CDMA phone, and uh, ooh, delicious, slightly warm day over there. Uh, that's fine, but, but. This at least allows you to format. It has internal shared storage, and until Samsung fixes that issue, <coughs> I'll probably sell the A51 out just because of that. Portable storage does not hack the program. Okay, are we clear? Yeah. Are we clear? The phone should ask you as soon as you plug it in. And I plugged that mic across the chart. And I got being said, that's all I got to go over today. Trying to keep it short, but it's not going to be as usual. We'll see what I can cut out. <coughs> Beyond that, I'm waiting for my little yellow pill I take to cut in, and then I'm going to have to go run into the restroom over there every four minutes and it's one of those where it says you gotta go pee and you go pee now or you end up in sleep sucking wet undies and uh, yeah you don't care it just it says oh you're weird too long we're starting so that's all i got for today we'll catch you in the next one uh I do have a, a sharpening tool for my little Gerber knife, which I'm wearing on my belt right now, just to kind of break in that spring clip. The Gerber's plenty sharp right now from the factory, but, you know, always another way to uh, keep it sharp. So that's it. Catch you later. Have some videos coming up in the corner. 
Watch them learn, become one. And subscribe, please.